Oftentimes, when creating comps and other artwork in Photoshop, you need to use colors from an existing website or web page as a basis for additional elements that might be added to a design. We've always been able to load swatches from an ASE file or from another document, but now with the Creative Cloud update, we can load swatches from a CSS file, an HTML file, or even an SVG file. Let me show you what I mean. I'm beginning this video with the webcomp.psd file already open on my computer. And although I have an image that's already up here, I wanted to show you that my swatches panel is really just showing me the default colors that I have inside of Photoshop. Over here in the swatches panel, we can always load swatches as we've done in the past. But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on that panel menu and I am going to choose load swatches again. But previously, where you might have had to choose an ASE file or another document, now, as you can see, we can click on a CSS file, and when we click open, it's going to automatically add, as you can see here, all of the swatches that are defined in any of the selectors in that CSS file. In addition, you can click load swatches, and you can also grab an HTML file. So maybe we'll grab our Jummy Finish file and choose Open. And you can see that it also added several other swatches as well. This new feature will save you quite a bit of time by preventing you from having to write down colors or from having to reference a separate document all the time. Now you can simply load swatches from a CSS or HTML file to have instant access to the colors used in those files.